This is what I wanted to show you, but uh, David grabbed me and showed me the real racetrack. Yep, that is a Lego uh, miniature racetrack of Paul Ricard. It obviously it's 25 hectares big. It has, it has got 40 cameras and 15 virages. Whatever that is. The distance. Five. Two hundred forty-seven possible routes. That's my guess. And twenty-one kilometers of uh, security rails. I am guessing. My French is not that good. And this is the landing, the aeroplane landing piste. Let me guess, where are we right now? Oh, those are aeroplanes. Nice. Oh, my guess is. No. Well, let's not guess because I'm lost. Well, in any case, we are somewhere here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my second favorite waste of time. Digital racing. I don't have a wheel. I was using a gamepad with a gyroscope. But we gave that away. Well, I, oh, I was using a gamepad like this one. Uh, yeah, we gave two of them away because we have already too much cargo. Today we have a water cooling for our main motor. Our main motor. And the sleepers are still wet from yesterday and it doesn't bother me it actually feels good in a hot weather like this and now ladies and gentlemen a word from our today's sponsor god almighty we were so lucky to meet the David he was actually the guy that the first guy that I asked the only guy that I asked uh, toilet s'il vous plaît because you know I had to okay and not only toilet he showed us a whole track David respect we love you and David was also lucky because yesterday we washed our clothes and changed our clothes and also sort of disinfected our slippers which as you saw were radioactive for a short period of time s'il vous plaît excusez moi my french but i wonder why this is called the park of losers park the losers okay okay it's a joke it's a joke so uh what is your name olivier olivier and his little kid Eluni. Eluni. olivier warned me that i passed him uh with with my vehicle uh i passed his car and he did not see me because we are not using the flag and he is the second guy today that warned me 
and we will fix this right now and we will put on the flag. Yes, it's very important. To Thank you. Chi. Thank you. Very Merci important. beaucoup. A good man, a good, uh, good race. Monsieur Olive, although he didn't speak English, we could somehow communicate, you know, like Italian. And he told me that he is doing a masonry, the stoneworks, and his teacher was uh, from Bosnia. So when he was explaining to me that he is doing Zid, I was uh, surprised, like Zid, that's, that's the wall in Slovenian and Bosnian and Serbian uh, language, Zid. And I, was, I thought, uh, what do you mean Zid? So he explained, yes, my teacher was Bosnian, and I know how to say wall in Bosnian and also in Slovenian language. Zid. Yes, very good. So, as usually, Bosna to the rescue! Bosnian people are very kind and they also have a marvelous sense of humor. My best friend Amir! Amir! That's a Bosnian. Every time he uh, told a joke, <laughs> there was no stopping of laughing. Bosna! Respect. Over and out. We are in the Christoph's garage repairing the trailer and what we did we upgraded actually the controllers and those are our new controllers which fit the cycle analyzed perfectly because they are from the same manufacturer two new controllers ready to be mounted the wire ring fits the, our previous wiring. So we are here with our main mechanic, uh, Christoph, and uh, we um, basically made some modification on your trailer because you arrived uh, a few days ago with uh, a faulty controller on one of the wheels. So we replaced the, the controllers uh, which were internal controllers from uh, Golden Motor by those uh, green tech uh, controllers and uh, making the parameters uh, the wiring to the motor and uh, complete replacement yeah complete replacement and also changing the, the some of the spokes broken spokes and uh, loose, uh, loose spokes also. So now you must take care in the next days that they uh, are not loose again because they will play in the first days. Like you said, uh, probably uh, every five days to every check it. Every five days in the beginning and then it will be okay. But in the, in the first days, in the first weeks, they can move again. Mm -hmm. So it's better to retight a bit on uh, the, the go. Yes, yeah. yes. So basically, the Christoph, uh, his job is to make off-grid solar systems. Yes, off-grid solar systems for houses, and also I'm always happy to uh, design and uh, realize some uh, solar e-bikes or solar trailers. So I have uh, an internet site for that, VTech. So you can uh, find that on, on the web and you will find me. We'll put that in the description. And he also did some uh, 3D printing for us. All right. And so anybody wanting your help can reach you to your, through your web page. Yes. For modifications, for off-grid solar systems or maybe for uh, solar yeah. bikes. For solar bikes. Yes. I'm uh, part of the... Um, um, the Centrip organization. Mm -hmm. I'm the technical manager for the Centrip organization. All right. Next year the the Sun trip will be in Morocco. It will be a nice, uh, all right, a nice trip. Yes. All right. About, That's a surprise. About uh, seven thousand uh, kilometers. We might right. see that. We might see that. Okay, Christoph. Thank you very much. You're welcome. He saved our life. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.